Hi there. We call the earth as our mother earth. It is so because it is the only place where life is possible. Not only humans but enormous wild animals, flora and fauna exist on earth. Everything is born here and mother earth takes care of all. Life exists on earth because all living organisms get the essentials to survive from mother earth itself. Similarly, in the mother's womb, the fetus gets everything from her mother. As mother earth gives birth and supports all organisms, let's see how human life begins and grows in a mother's womb. In the female reproductive system, egg or ovum is produced in the ovary and released into the fallopian tube or oviduct. Here, ovum gets fused with the sperm which enters the vagina of the female reproductive tract during copulation. From the vagina, millions of sperm pass through the opening of the cervix and travel into the fallopian tubes. You will be surprised to know that out of approximately 100 millions of sperm, only a few of them can reach the upper part of the oviduct where only one sperm can fuse with the ovum. The rest of the sperm die and are absorbed on the way. After reaching the ovum, the tail of the sperm is left behind. Only the nucleus of the sperm head can penetrate the cytoplasm of the ovum and fuse with the egg nucleus within it. This moment of fusion of nuclei of sperm and ovum is called fertilization. Once fertilized, the zygote is formed and gets divided to form a multicellular ball-like structure which travels down the fallopian tube. Then, the hair-like structures of the wall of the oviduct push the multicellular zygote towards the uterus. Cells of the zygote continue to divide, forming a hollow multicellular ball-like structure which attaches itself firmly to the uterine wall and forms the embryo. The fastening of an embryo to the wall of the uterus is called implantation. Fertilization and implantation lead to conception in a female who is then considered being pregnant. A special tissue is formed as a bridge between the uterine wall and the growing embryo gets its nutrients from the mother's body. It disposes of its waste through this connection known as the placenta. Just like Mother Earth and a human womb, there is so much to compare and learn about science from our surroundings. We just need to be observant enough. That's all for this video.